Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next topic. That is a conversion of a finite automata to regular expression, guys. Okay. So, there is a particular theorem or a method or approach to solve this. But the reality is there is no need of any method or approach to solve it, guys. Just by observing the question, you can answer it under one minute, guys. So if you apply this approach, it will take around two to three minutes for you to solve a single lined question, a simple question. Okay. Yes. But it, but when it comes to reality in examination, you might have bigger questions. And if you start solving this approach, it will take a really long time. That is the reason why instead of using the method, we can directly solve them by observation also. Okay. Yes. But, uh, but sometimes most of the students will be saying like, if there is an approach, please say it because in examination, he might use this word and he might say whether it is applied for it or not. At that time, we might be confused, right? Yes. That's really true. So that is the reason why I'm going to discuss this particular approach now. So the name of that approach is a uh, Arden's theorem, guys. So what exactly they say is uh, for any kind of a finite automata. Okay. So for any kind of finite automata, we can construct a uh, Okay, for any kind of finite automata, we can find regular expression or for any regular expression, we can draw finite automata. Okay, so for what, what finite automata he can find? He can find for NFA, DFA and MDFA. Okay, yes. So here, there are only two simple steps, guys. And the most important thing is it is not going to accept epsilon and FA. Okay, yes. So the steps are, the first step is for every individual state of the DFA, write an expression for every incoming and outgoing alphabets. And if P is free from a null, then equation of R is equal to Q plus a PR has a unique solution, R equal to Q P star. Okay, yes. I understood that none of you understood anything from this particular thing, right? Yes. So let me take a small piece of example so that you will get clear clarity on this particular thing. Okay, I told you, right? So basically, if you want me to solve this question, it will take hardly one minute to solve if we directly observe it. So to be clear, even in under 30 seconds, most of the students, you will answer guys. Okay, yes. Once I teach you the method. Okay, yes. Okay. So we are having A. A is having a loop. B. B is having A comma B. So assume that B is the final star, you can assume anything. Okay, that will not affect anything. Okay, yes. So now this is the given question. And now I want to write the expression for this. So for some fun, let us first, I told you there is a small trick, tricky method to solve this, right? It will take around 30 seconds or one minute. I told you, right? Yes. So what that method says is, observe the question carefully. So here we are starting. So keep your finger there. Move towards it. So first we are having A. So what A is having, guys? It is having a self loop of A. So indirectly, what here we, we can have, we can have as many number of A's as we want, right? Yes. And sometimes I might even have zero A's, right? So I can directly have B also. So indirectly, it is a nothing but A star, right? Yes. And to move from A to B, I need one B mandatorily. So indirectly, can I skip that B? No. So that B is mandatory and I cannot have two B's here, right? Yes. Okay. So now I'm at state B. From state B, if you observe here, we are having A, B loop. So indirectly, I can make any combination of AB. If you recall, I told you anything means A plus B whole star. So this is the answer. I don't know how much time it took. It will take around maximum 30 seconds to one minute. Guys. That's it. Got it? Yes. So to solve this, there is a particular approach which we will be learning now. Okay. So the first step in that approach is convert this into our transitions. guys. So delta with A comma B is equals to capital A. With capital A comma B, I will go to B. Uh, similarly, A sorry, B comma A, I will go to capital B. Uh, B comma B, I will go to capital B, right? Yes. Okay. So now, once you have written it, so separate them based on the outputs. So here I am having A, here I am having B, B, B. So now equation A is equals to write write it down, guys. So it is a nothing but so how we write it is A is equals to capital A into small a. So in that way we will write. Okay. So what it is guys? It is a nothing but capital A into small a, right? Yes. B is equals to, and it is the start symbol. So you will always write epsilon guys. Remember it. Okay. Yes. Okay. So when it comes to B, we are having three options here. So I can have A with the B plus I can have B with the A plus B with the B, right? Yes. So these are the three possible combinations, right? Yes. So first, let us solve this A. So if you recall, I told you only one formula that is R is equals to Q plus P R P, right? Yes. 
So what is this guys? Uh, so this will be shortened to R is equals to QP star, right? Yes. So if you observe this equation is almost satisfying it, right? So this is a Q. This is a R. This is a P. So it is a nothing but a QP star. That is a, this a result A is equals to what is a Q? Q is a nothing but epsilon. P star is a nothing but A star. So epsilon A star. So what is epsilon A star? It is a nothing but A star. So I think I can substitute that value here, right? So now the B equation will be updated to A star B plus capital B small a plus capital B small b, right? Yes. So I think now we can analyze a few things here, right? Yes. So I think among these two, I can take B common. We are going to end up with in this way, right? So B of A plus B. Okay. So now I will assume this as a Q this as a R and this as a P. So now I will end up with A star B, A plus B whole star. So what did I answer it directly guys? So it's exactly matching, right? Yes. So this approach around took uh, two minutes, right? Minimum of two minutes. I observed the time when I stopped explaining this is around uh, three minutes, 30 seconds. And now it is around six minutes, right? Yes. So now I understood, now everyone understood, right? So why I told that that method is easy? Yes. I'll be solving around 20 questions in this lecture, guys. And it will take around five minutes more, five to 10 minutes more maximum. Okay. Yes. So please consider I'll be using this method. I'm not going to solve each and every one in this way, right? Yes. Okay. So let us start. Okay. So let me take a single paper. Okay. Yes. So let us start. So the first thing here is uh, we are having a Q naught to Q1. So indirectly here I am having options, right? Either I can go in this way, either I can go in this way. Okay. Yes. So if I can go in, in any one of the way, so it is a nothing but an option, right? So whenever you are having multiple options, you will write it as a plus B. Okay. Yes. So first few things might be introduction to you. And as you move on, it will be really easy for you guys. Okay. So please concentrate. So in the next one, from Q0, I can go to Q1 with A. From Q1, I need to go to Q2 with the B. So indirectly, everything is mandatory. So it is nothing but AB, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. And now moving on to the next part. So here from Q0 to Q1, I need A mandatorily. From Q1, I can have zero number of Bs or infinite number of Bs. So it is a B star. After that, I can have single C. So this is the result, right? Yes. So moving on here, if you observe, it's a loop, right? Yes. So indirectly, if you observe here carefully, here we are, sorry, here we are going to even accept the epsilon one, right? Yes. So indirectly, it is A, B, whole star, right? So a, B will be accepted, empty will be accepted, that is nothing but epsilon will be accepted, A, B, A, B will be accepted, so in that way, so it is nothing but A, B whole star, right, yes. So now moving on to the next line, okay, so that, so here if you observe again, so sorry for that, so if you observe here again, so this is A loop, right, so so remember guys, just remember in this way, so any loop is a nothing but star guys, so it is a A star, okay, so I can have A star, Okay, and if I want, I can have this also, right? So if I have B, I will come here, but I need to go to end. So BC will be a pair, right? So if I get B, I should get C, BC, BC, BC. Because our final goal will be always to stay at the final state, guys. Remember that as well, right? Yes. So I think we can write in this way, right? So A plus, sorry, AB. Let me write it again. A star, AB, sorry, BC, whole star. I think I can write it in that way. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. So I can write in this way or I can also write it as in this way also, right? So A plus B whole star. So I can have infinite number of A's or I can have infinite number of B's or I can have their combinations also, right? So the reason here this is wrong is because I need to place a whole star here, guys. Then it will be correct. Because based on this answer, if I write A, B, C, A, that is not possible here, right? So from here I will get A. From here I will get to BC, but I cannot get to A from anywhere. So that is the reason why this is better, right? Yes. Okay. So let us try for this now. Okay. So if you observe for this, so firstly we are having only one option. So A is mandatory here. Okay. So after that I can have B once or as many times as I want. So it is a B star. After that I can have C. And similarly I can roam infinite times here. So I think I can keep a star there, right? Yes. So it's quite simple. So now moving on to the next step. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now moving on here. So whenever we are having two options, always write a plus a first guys to reduce confusion. Okay. Yes. So here we are having a loop. So it is a nothing but a star. Okay. So after that I am having, I, I, there is a mandatory B. After that C, it is a star. After that I am having D. It is also mandatory. So indirectly I can have this infinite times. So that's it. Right. Yes. 
ओके मूविंग ऑन टू द सेकंड पार्ट गाइस ये एवरी इक्वेशन कैन बी मिनिमाइज्ड गाइस सो इफ यू वांट टू मिनिमाइज दिस इक्वेशन यू कैन रिमूव दिस स्टार हियर सो इन दैट वे यू कैन मिनिमाइज दिस इक्वेशंस एज मेनी टाइम्स एज यू वांट बट आवर गोल इज नॉट टू मिनिमाइज देम आवर गोल इज टू गेट करेक्ट आंसर दैट्स इट राइट यस ओके मूविंग ऑन टू दिस ओके सो हियर इफ यू ऑब्जर्व दिस क्वेश्चन सीम्स टू बी अ बिट फनी क्वेश्चन राइट यस सो इफ आई गेट आर वन हियर आई विल गो हियर बट इफ आई गेट आर थ्री आई कैन गो हियर डायरेक्टली सो आर वन आर थ्री इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन Okay, and in between I can roam in between this R two R one R two R one R two R one as many times as I want. So R two R one whole star. Got it? Yes. So in this way we can write it, right? Yes, it's exactly matching with my book. Okay. Yes. So now you understood, right? So how exactly I'm solving? There are few more questions. They will take around two to three minutes maximum. Okay. Yes. So please concentrate. Okay. Yes. So in this question, is there any final state? So as there is no final state, I I don't know what we should do here, right? Yes. So now moving on to this question. So if you observe in this question, they gave epsilon, right? Yes. So there is a free free transaction here. Okay. Yes. So now, let, if we start at Q naught, the only option is going to Q one. From Q one, I will go to Q two. From Q two, I will go to Q one. So indirectly, this is free of cost. So I can connect this here itself, right? Yes. So this is free of cost. So indirectly, it will start with B A B A pairs, right? To go to the end point. So B A whole star. Got it? Yes. So that's a good question, right? Yes. Okay. So now moving on to this question. Okay. So moving on to this question. Here we are having a. Uh, first i will take one a is mandatory after that the end is a d that is mandatory and in between i can have b star okay or i can have c a right i can roam in this way also or i can roam here but i should stay here only so that's our goal right yes so it is a nothing but uh, what is this guys c a whole star yes so it will look in that way wow okay so instead of keeping interior stars they are keeping exterior stars anything is okay right yes So now moving on to this question. Okay, so this question is having two epsilon. So so here we are having epsilon. Here we are having epsilon. So it is indirectly two options, right? So if I am having a, I will go here. If I am having b, I will go here. So two options here. So use a plus sign to separate them. So the first loop is a b a loop, and the second is a b loop. So b a whole star, uh, a b whole star. And to be clear, I can roam them as many times as I want. So indirectly, I can remove the interior stars and I can keep the exterior star. Got it? Yes. So in my book, most probably I will be having the minimized expressions, guys. Sir. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now moving on to the next question. Okay. So let us observe here. Okay. So this question seems to be a bit really interesting, right? Yes. So let us concentrate, guys. Okay. So here one A is mandatory for sure. Okay. So after that, here I am having the three options. Sir. Okay. So indirectly, is it B B or single B, guys? Sir? So I think that single line indicates a double B. Okay. Yes. So this is A. Okay, and that A is mandatory. After that, I am having this path, right? Yes. So it is a A A plus. I am having this path, which is a B B, and I am having this path, that is a A B A. Okay. And once these all are done, I can roam as many times as I want in B star. So this is the most appropriate answer according to me. Yes, it's matching with our question, which our answer in our book, right? Yes. Okay. So now you understood, right? So how much this is easy to convert it, right? Yes. So every expression, na, you can directly write it, and if you want to compress it, you can compress as per slowly, guys. Step by step, if you want, you can compress it, right? Yes. Okay. So assume that here we are starting in between. Okay. So here we are having two options. So let me separate them with plus, and one option is a B, and here I am having a comma B. So it is indirectly B B of a plus a B. Okay, so I can have any one of them. When it comes to this part, also it is same way, and I can have whole star because I can have this particular pairs as many times as I want, right? Yes. Okay, so that after compression it will look in this way, guys. Okay. So that looks really good, right? So in examination, instead of giving this in options, if he gives this, sir, you need to cross check whether this is equal power with this. So you can cross check with some examples, sir, or you can try to convert it slowly. So here I can, I we took a common the this thing, sir. So once we took those things common, I think there is some standard rule for this type of things, sir. You can test them, guys. Okay. Yes. So the best approach which I say is right rather than solving this step by step, you can check whether these two are generating same things, sir. So here we can generate what what things here you can generate what what things so in that way you can cross check and you can solve it yes okay so that is the best approach which I assume okay yes so I think in the in the same way I think everyone can solve these things right so let me show it in the book directly so what is this case so it's a loop of a comma b it is a plus b whole star a is mandatory again a plus b whole star yes yes so here we are having a particular state from here we are going to that state and we are coming back so what is this this is nothing but a a Whole star, right? Yes. So A A you can roam as many times as you want. After that one A is mandatory. After that B star. After that one A mandatory. After that again A plus B whole star. Got it? Yes. 
moving on to this first b star is mandatory after that one single a after that how many after that one a is here and from here how many b s you want you can roam so b a whole star right yes okay similarly what is this guys so please observe this carefully guys this is a good question to be clear okay yes so if i am at here i can go free of cost to here and i will execute one a and i can execute as many a's as i want and i can go free from here to here so indirectly what is it guys it's nothing but a star right yes so in the same way this is a b similarly here it is a a plus b got it yes so now i think everyone got a clear idea right so how we can directly convert regular expressions to finite automata sorry finite automata to regular expression so if a regular expression is given i think everyone is clear with this part right yes and to be clear i think i forgot to draw one particular arrow here so i think everyone knows what is a regular language right yes so these things uh, if if if, uh, if you recall so whenever i am saying starting with a so what is the language of a it is nothing but a single a single ab abb uh, a a b so in that way so starting with a this is nothing but the language right so i think everyone is already clear with the conversion of a finite automata to regular language and regular language to finite automata and regular language to finite automata in the reverse way and in this way also right yes because we have already been clear with it and when we are working with this initially only we learned this particular regular language concept right yes okay so now i hope everyone got a clear idea on this so in the next lecture i'll be taking some examples i think there will be around 5 to 10 examples maximum on conversion of regular expressions to finite automata guys okay yes so now i hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to finite automata to regular expressions right yes so in the next lecture let us continue with that and once that is done i think we can draw this particular arrow right yes so let us draw that in the next lecture and understand it okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you